One of the exact pages you have to get Tantari into. It's like what? You have to do like 150 and something else? Alright, so I need to do 150 and 200 damage. Okay. I don't care if Marcus Lizard dies. Actually, speaking of that, let me just uh, do this. I can more than handle these these ladies. He's pissed. He's not doing a victory pose. Like you know Steiner's pissed. Injured. I want to heal myself. Ah! Wow, bitch. Oh man, I'm escaping. Yeah, I don't get my EXP. Fuck. God damn it. You get zero EXP for that second fight. That spanked and hard. That's one slow ass moving airship. Like every other airship in the game can cover the ground between fucking Clara and Alexander in like 30 seconds. <laughs> I guess 30 seconds is 30 minutes in this world. I know, right? Like, the damn is a fucking genius if you can calculate the airspeed, velocity, and the distance between Clara and Alexandria, and, and knows exactly what the fucking shit is.
Oh, you bitch. Darkness fucking doing shit. Well, Really again, oh, I'm dead. Reap. Thankfully the continue system is really good in this game. Kind of sucks. Open first before I try and do shit. Yeah, good thing there is an auto save here, right? I need to deal about 150 damage in order to get it to fucking open up.
Nope, man. Double paper sword fucking hurts. Um. All right. Another another thing I can do. Another thing I can do is I need to get Steiner down to about 100, or down to about 150-ish HP. So you need to be at like six, no, 550-ish. 550 550 or lower, basically. I mean, it was like eighteen dollars. So, Let's see how much do you hit him for? Vivi, how dare you miss? How dare you miss, Vivi? Done that. Now he's gonna run again, right? Yeah, I don't know what to go do. Give me a little bit and I promise I'll feed you. Oh, I don't mean to focus on Zidane, or it's to defend Zidane, rip. It's two. I don't care about poison because I have anybody from my
Oh shit, I should have done the regen. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Let's be honest, Kingdom Hearts 3 is never going to come out, alright? No matter how much we hope and pray, it's never going to come out. This fight's not hard once you bust open the, uh, the thing. a lot. It has been development hell for so fucking long. And so much for Bandit being fucking you know, good. And boom, a really hard boss fight has been made super easy. I was just doing the wrong strats for it. Also, that deck ton of XP I just got. Do, do. Well, the, the Final Seven remake. Uh, the thing about that is that it's being broken up into parts, which is like, uh, well, it is kind of like I kind of the original Final Fantasy Seven, where you know, it. Uh, You know, it came out on discs. It still sucks, though. Because it's, it's kind of like frickin' whatchamacalls it, uh... Fucking... Uh... The Walking Dead series, kind of. Or, like, each part is gonna be one disc. And they're not all coming out at the same time, either.
rude, you are so, so rude. Don't mind me just open this door. Yo, Sojo, thank you for the six months, man. Welcome back to half a year support chat. I know it's late, but we get that love and have the reset. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Wow, I instinctively went to mute my Discord because I'm so used to always doing that when I had resub. Sword. It is. Holy hell, that's way better. Okay. Insomniac? Oh boy, he doesn't have Beast Killer either. Well, I don't think it matters, cuz... I think Freya's the most important one to have uh, Insomniac on. What's up, Sheena? How you doing, bud? a really easy boss fight. I'm talking like super duper easy boss fight. Alright, so I want to steal from Zorn first. do while you're trying to steal stuff is this. As long as you don't actually fucking... Wait, what? I disagree. Well, that is BB's trance, because that's not going to fucking... You look so bad.
There we go. Stars Rod was the big thing, so... Oh my god. Oh, well this is a fucking raid and a half. Holy shit. Oh my god, this choke raid right now. Holy shit, dude. Wow. I wonder who this fucking choke raid could be from. Man. I wonder who this raid could be from. I wonder if it's from, uh, fuck, what's his name? Uh, who's the guy who keeps on getting bodied by Demon's Gate in Final Fantasy VII? Um, do, do you guys know who I'm talking about? The, the guy who gets bodied all the time by uh by demon's gate in uh in final fantasy 7 that guy and if it's not demon's gate his body's by it's always by fucking uh carry armor with the with the, with the double lapis right at the start right yeah that guy what's his name clade clade yeah clade mr mr clade himself is bodied all the time by fucking the fucking freeman's gate Ain't so free. It's a free ticket, if you ask me. An absolutely free ticket. The Body Town, courtesy of him. Joke Lord, Heart 69, XXX420. Yeah, that guy. That guy. It's a Joke Lord himself. But Caleb Hart, thank you so much for the insane. Holy shit, the insane. Raid. I was gonna end my stream in a little bit, but but that's just not the case anymore. No, that'd be insulting to you, lovely fucking core raiders, about to end my stream. So I'm gonna stick around for another hour and a half, two hours ish. And we're gonna fucking get as far as we can in Final Fantasy IX. But Caleb, thank you so much for the amazing raid. Hope you've been well, my dude. Dude, Final Fantasy IX is underrated. I fucking love it to death. It's probably my favorite Final Fantasy 9, dude. It really, really is. Um, like, just everything about this game, I fucking love. It was the characters, the art design, fucking everything. And they just recently, ish, like a week and a half ago, like, took the, the, the PC port and brought it over to uh, PS4 for like 18 bucks. And since I love Final Fantasy 9, I picked it up anyways, because, you know, fuck it, why not? And, um... Yeah, so I'm playing this on PS4 right now, and it's just a game that, like... It was one of the few games I ever actually, like, 100%ed. Well, I say 100% as, like, 99.9% like .9 of the game, complete as a kid. The only thing I never really did was, um... Was get Excalibur 2. But I'm planning on do... Oh, it's Excalibur 2, and then the fucking, um... What is it? The the jump rope master from the mini game? And oh my god, dude! I tried doing that. I tried doing the the fucking thousand jumps, and the most I could get to is like 50 or 70 ish. At what point in the game am I? Uh, I'm about like ha maybe like a third of the way through disc two. Um, we just got done with Clara, the Clara tree and the events that happened there, and we just got back to Alexandria, and I just did the optional boss, uh, Tantarian, in the Alexandrian library, the, uh, the fucking book dude, with the running shoes. So, right now, we just rescued Princess Garnett, who had, uh, all the summons forcibly extracted from her body by the fucking 
two little midgets on this fucking boy who form the fuckboy duo. <clears throat> what percent? Uh, I mean, this is just a casual playthrough. I'm not speedrunning or anything. But I, I'm going to try and go... I'm going to try and do as close to 100% as possible with uh, as many key, key items as I can get. Um, I'm going to get everyone's ultimate weapon. I'm going to try and learn all the abilities and all the characters. Uh, the only thing I won't be able to do in this run right now is get the Excalibur 2. And the Excalibur 2, the requirement for that, in case you guys don't know, it's, it's Steiner's like super ultimate weapon. Um, you can only get it by basically speedrunning the game. You have to get to the final dungeon in the game in under 12 hours. Uh, this isn't a remake, more of a port. It's more of kind of like a HD-ish port, so... And this is a scripted battle right here, so it's nothing to do, really, aside from just... Hey! Oh, fuck, I forgot. I took off the, the fucking coral ring from him. Rip. <laughs> oh, boy. Um... Normally I try and steal shit, but I think now I just want to kind of get through this fight. So that's the plan for right now, is we're going to get through this fight. Yeah, no, Final Fantasy IX, uh, as we were talking about earlier, the fucking, um... The goddamn, the... Like, the actual undertones and, like, the story for each character in this game is dark as hell. Like, it really is just fucking dark. Um... For example, uh, Vivi's, like, story is about him coming to terms with, like, death, and, like, what, it, like, if he's actually real. Um, Freya's story is basically, like, her trying to come to terms with, uh, I'm just playing through, uh, get bopped, I'm just playing through right now, uh, casual playthrough. Um, but yeah, basically, Freya's story is her coming to terms with the fact that the love of her life, the person she's in love with, that she spent three years looking for, has completely forgotten about her because of amnesia. And, like, each character has their own, like, plot line in the story. They each go through incredible character growth and just changes. And I just love this game. Even as a kid, I absolutely fucking loved it. Especially, like, I think my favorite one's honestly Steiner's story, because back when I was a kid, I fucking, I hated Steiner so goddamn much. Fucking, he was, like, he was one of the most annoying fucking characters I thought when I was, like, 10 or 11. And now that I've gotten older, and I fucking understand, like, what his story is, and the changes he goes through, and just how good in the game he is. Did I play 15? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, you know, I only did one playthrough of 15 when it first came out. 15 was, it was special to say the least, um, like, the graphics were nice, it was a very beautiful game, but, like, the, the, the bromance and the, just, fucking, the story was mediocre compared to other Final Fantasy games, it was actually a much shorter Final Fantasy game, too, and I was even considering I try to do, like, everything I could, like, all the, uh, all the hunts, um, I think I got everyone's ultimate weapon. I think the only thing I didn't do in that game was fucking, uh, fight Adamantoys. But I don't want to spend like an hour and a half, or like maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes fighting that one dude. Yeah, that's another thing, dude. Fucking, exactly, Bob. Um, when I was a kid, I hated Final Fantasy VIII. Like, I absolutely could not stand Final Fantasy VIII. Because I didn't understand the mechanics in the game. Yeah, the also the, the fucking movie that came out, um, the one that had Diamond Weapon in it, that pretty much tells the story of what happens like immediately after Noctis and his 
boy band group leave the city. Uh, yeah. I never watched that, though. It was like Kingsglaive or something like that. Right, Kingsglaive? Yeah, there's no, like, no real good explanation of the mechanics. They didn't explain to you the fact that, um... All the enemies in Final Fantasy VIII scale to your level. So, like, you actually wanted to be as low level as possible going through the game and that... You only wanted to get, like, better junctions and fucking better, uh weapons and armor to, to sh like shit on everything <laughs> and like once you actually understood the mechanics of the game <clears throat> and you um and you uh y you learn some of the good early draw points like you can just shit through fucking most of the game for like fucking i don't know for like four or five hours basically you, you can just not be stopped yeah yeah, exactly. Fucking trying to grind w without doing any fucking like RNG manipulation. Fucking grinding for Zell's card from Zell's mom. Ha! <laughs> yeah, no, fuck that. <clears throat> Wasn't the second to last game I had final weapons? Uh, I think it might have been because uh, what was it? Final Fantasy VIII had like Omega weapon hidden at the bottom of a dungeon. Um, and then, what was it, 10 had the other, the last weapon in the actual series? Because I don't think 12 had a weapon, 13 didn't have weapons. Um... And 15 didn't have weapons, obviously. Yeah. It was also knowing that you had to actually didn't you have to actually capture the card in Triple Triad? Or did you have to just, uh... Did you just have to win to get your choice of cards? Oh, okay, thank you. Ultima, Ultima was in the bottom of the dig, Omega was in Ultimatius Castle. Okay, thank you. And this is one of the best moments in the game because you actually controlled Beatrix, who for the past like two and a half hours was doing nothing but beating your ass every time you fought her. Now you actually have to be her and just kick ass with her for a bit. It was, it was a pretty sweet uh, moment as a kid to control her. Yup. And Bander Snatches. Bad dog was a bad. You thought you were a good doggo? No, you are in fact a bad doggo. Now he's gotta run, and we run, and we run. God, dude. <laughs> in case anyone, like, was wondering, uh... Just for shits and giggles, my fucking Mage Masher steal took about 10 to 15 minutes at the start of this playthrough. Yeah, it was the last text-only game, you're right. That was very true. Because everything past 10 was just all voice acting. Dude, fucking trying to do the fucking, what was it, Lulu's? It was Lulu's weapon and fucking, what was it? Um, I'm not paying attention right now. It was Lulu's and Titus's weapon. So you had to do some extreme fucking bullshit for it. What mage? Yo, did I just say that BB was a black mage and not an African American mage? Well, you, yeah, you had to dodge lightning for Lulu's and then didn't you to get fucking. You, you had to do the chocobo race for Titus, right? You gotta get the 0, 0.0 on your timer. What wasn't that what it was? I'm not even paying attention, I'm just fucking great to be auto attacking. Ugh. Yeah, I know. 
I remember trying to do that as a fucking kid. Oh, dude. When I was a kid, like, you know, an early teenager who didn't have a fucking, uh, who didn't have a, you know, guide or wasn't a fucking speedrunner, but, or, I'm not a speedrunner, but, you know, didn't watch fucking AGD keys and SMD keys to learn all the fucking tricks about fucking, uh, fucking fucking dude. Oh, was it Kamara Thaz or Lulu, wasn't it? I could have sworn that it was Lulu's, and then Chocolate Racing was Titus's. Oh, the crit was fucking real. Yeah, this game has a much worse version of Lightning Dodge, and that's the fucking jump rope fucking community game. And if, if you thought fucking... Um, if you thought Lulu's Lightning Dodge is hard, get Final Fantasy IX and, and do the fucking jump rope in the game. Because to get the... Uh, one of the achievements if you want to like platinum the game is do a thousand jump ropes. And in case you're wondering, so someone did the math, and that's about seven and a half minutes of basically perfect inputs. Seven and a half minutes of perfect inputs. Straight. Couldn't take a break. You couldn't fucking, uh, you couldn't go, like, there weren't any checkpoints along the way. You had to go from zero to a thousand jumps straight in a row. Seven and a half minutes of perfect timing of the input. It starts off slow. I think it's fast. Dude, like... <sighs> I'm gonna hate myself to do it, but... <laughs> uh, goddamn. And now, this is the... Getting, getting back to Final Fantasy IX, though. Uh, this is the point in the story in which Steiner finally starts to show some character growth and realizes that... Uh, he needs to stop blindly following his duty and actually needs to listen to his heart and make his own decisions. So now it's the dagger, BB, and Zidane to uh, get out of Alexandria Castle. Yeah, I never used Kamari for. Uh, for uh, what you calls it in Final Fantasy X. I barely remember my playthrough in the first place. Fuck, dude, it's been songs I played 10. And then I just have a void in my mind when I played 10 2. Because that that game. Ho oh, 10 2. AKA Final Fantasy the fan service game. <clears throat> It jumps around a lot in this section between the, the two parties, Freya and Beatrix and Steiner and... Well, Steiner, Freya and Beatrix and then Zidane, BB and Dagger. Tiger, the, the Tiger's Whisper, and then that was for, that was a racket for Aiko and, um, for Aiko and Dagger, wasn't it? Because on, like, disc four, you had to go to, uh, you had to go to, be, to Quan, was it Quan or Q's cave outside of Trino, go to the ledge with Dagger in your party, you notice it's the sea foam, and then you have to go and have a deep sea chocobo fucking go do and like dig underneath that cave. I think Freya's, you just had to do a uh, chocograph. Am 
mind doing your attack? Thank you. I'm trying to remember all the ultimate weapons. I think for most of the ultimate weapons, you literally just find them in, uh, whatchamacallit, it's... You literally find them in just, like, Choco Grouse. Oh no! We walked in the same trap twice! Now we get laughed at by fuck and boy. That's fuck and that's boy. Chat, meet fuck boy. <laughs> Dude, all the fucking, like, fan theories about Final Fantasy VIII. Everyone's like, oh man, fucking Squall's actually dead the whole time, and Ultimecia's actually Renoa, who fucking, uh, who fucking, you know, goes back in time to actually try and save Squall, because she still loves Squall, and that's why that the, the fucking GF she junctions to at the fucking end of the game is the same name as the fucking... E chain that you name and start a game and uh, uh fan theory that hey that's just a theory a, a game theory yeah game theory actually though I actually do enjoy watching Matt Pat and game theory I was just trying to make a joke there the expensive you know fans <clears throat> Yeah, they also said that, like, because there's that one, like, frame during a cutscene in which, like, Squall has no face, and it's just, like, a giant black void on his face. I don't think he dies in the first fight, because I don't think he met... Re well, maybe, because this fucking... Dude, this has been so long since I played Final Fantasy VIII, I completely forgot the story. Although, I will say, Final Fantasy VIII has my all-time favorite battle music, and that is Laguna's battle music. Fucking dude, Laguna's battle music, the man with the machine gun, is probably my favorite fucking battle music. Oh, he died in Cypher. The man with the machine gun, so fucking good. It's so good. It really is. It's just mwah. It really, really is. Uh, our, uh, I actually should have st stole and then had dagger attack. Impaled by uh, Ida at the end of this one, yep. Also, like, I never really understood the whole, like, fucking. You're gonna watch the memories of fucking Laguna and his crew. No, I didn't fucking misplay. Did I play 12? Um. I did for like a little bit when I was younger, but I never got invested in the characters or anything. Yeah, like the the whole gambit system in that game 
Honestly, I just couldn't I just couldn't get into. Oh he died. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, and then just having like kind of something gambit to basically auto battle. Just it just wasn't my cup of tea, to be honest. Mm -hmm. They can go faster. Good job. Yeah, he's getting fucking chased. Yeah, and then you actually like meet Laguna at some point, don't you? I'm not sure the story of like how, but like all I know is that Squall and Laguna were linked by something. I forget what it was though. But dude, I remember fucking and when I played 8. Because back when I was younger, uh, I actually played Final Fantasy 8 and 9 with my sister, older sister. And, um,. And, uh, I remember, uh, <laughs> uh, I accidentally fucking, what was it, disc three or disc four is when you're in space and you're on the, um, oh, is that what it was? Like you know, Squall's dad. Okay. Um, but yeah. Basically, what happened was uh, I think we were doing the, the the section of the game. It was like right. It was right before you got on the what was it Riding Rock ship. We had to fight the fucking monsters and yeah, yeah, play the fucking like matching game with our colors. And you couldn't get into a combat with anyone else so when you were rescuing Renoa in space. I think what happened was, is I, we were both on the bed playing the game, I was watching she was playing, and uh, she, she was trying to catch Renoa, and I decided to be an idiot, 